Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Wen. We want to affect this polynomial. The degree of this polynomial is four. Here's two, here's two. Now in general, how to affect this polynomial? If you have no idea, it, if you don't have any shortcut in general, you may want to expand this polynomial first. Then use different method to find a one root. For example, you may use the relationship in between all roots and the coefficients of the polynomial, the product, the sum, and the find the one root. Find the one root, you can use long division or use grouping to reduce the polynomial power, the degree. When the power, the degree is lower down, it is easier to continue to factor the remaining part. For this one, if you do it, it may take time. So here, we use a different method. Let y equals x squared plus three. You may ask why are you doing this? Where did you get this kind of idea? You need to look at this given condition, comparing the two parts, the first part, the second part, x squared plus three x, x squared plus three x, that's a common part. So we define x squared plus three as one variable. It may simplify the question. This is a natural idea to solve mathematical problem. It is also a frequent method to use a math uh, solving problem. So here we define this way and replace x squared plus three by y. And we have y minus three, y plus four, minus eight. Simplify the product, y squared plus y minus 12 minus eight, put those two together, becomes minus 20. So here for this one, it's easier to factor this part. That's y minus four y plus five, you can use different method. For many of you, you just can see it, or you can use quadratic formula. So here, what is y? We define as x squared plus three x. We can replace y back. So here, this is y, this is y. So the first term, you can factor as x plus four, x minus one. You can use quadratic formula or different method. The second part, you don't have any energy solution. So here you cannot go further to factor this. Here's the answer. Original polynomial equals x plus four times x minus one, x squared plus three x plus five. By the way, in the original expression, you cannot factor the first part or second part of first because you have constant outside. You have to expand this part first if you don't use this idea. Otherwise, you you cannot factor the whole thing, right? After you factor this, you still have minus eight left over outside. That's all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.